Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to check out the Cinnamon desktop of NixOS. So let us start. This is the login screen of the Cinnamon desktop of NixOS. You have got uh, the power manager. You have got uh, the language chooser and you have got the accessibility features. So you got the on-screen keyboard, a screen reader, high contrast and the large font and you got finally the session chooser so you got cinnamon and cinnamon with software rendering so you have chosen the cinnamon desktop by default and you have to now log in to the to the desktop so we will now log in into the desktop cinnamon desktop okay so now we are logged into the cinnamon desktop the wallpaper is gray this is the default wallpaper in many of the nixos uh, desktops so we don't have any uh, default uh, cinnamon de uh, desktop wallpapers only the nix os wallpaper is there so we will start so at the bottom you have got this uh, cinnamon desktop uh, panel is there with the application menu on the left then you have got this uh, maximize minimize uh, icon you have got the firefox web browser you have got the gnome terminal and this is the Nemo Files Manager. So let us open the Firefox web browser. Let us open the terminal. Let us open the Files Manager. So you can see the terminal. Uh, just a moment. I will first. We will first check out the terminal. So this is the GNOME terminal. Version is 3.44.1 for the GNOME 42. So we have got the components from the GNOME 42 for the Cinnamon desktop here. I will close this. Now, let us check out the Firefox version. It should be, yes, it is 106 version only. So it is latest version. I will close this. And now the Nemo file manager. So the version of the Nemo file manager is 5.2.4. It is, so it is also quite latest version of Nemo. Then at the right hand side of the panel you have got the printer menu so you can configure your printers there is the network manager so you can configure wired as well as wireless connections you have got the volume control it is a simple volume control with a link to the uh, additional uh, sound settings and you have got the calendar day date time settings function and on the desktop you have got the two icons are there for the computer and the home that is the user home and now let us check out the application menu so in accessories you have got the archive manager the calculator is there the g disk is there the document viewer it is a x reader you have got the file renamer so you can re rename your files nemo file manager is there the image viewer is there the virtual keyboard is there and the warpinator is there so warpinator is used to send and receive files over the network And let us check out the image viewer. So the X viewer is giver. So it is an image viewer. The version is 3.2.4. I will close this. So no computers are found because we are not connected to a network. Once we are connected to a network, you can configure it to send and receive files over the network. Then there is virtual keyboard is also available so let us check out the virtual keyboard so it is there this is the virtual keyboard that is available you can hit on the uh, virtual keyboard <coughs> item in the application menu the virtual keyboard will disappear now we will check out the graphics in graphics you got the document viewer it is the device document viewer pix is the picture or the photo manager that is given it is a standard uh, cinnamon app so now i will close this also in the internet section you got the geary that is the email client you got firefox and the hex chat is there office section there is no office suite like open office libre office only office only the document viewer device is given in the sound section you got the media player let us check out the media player
so it is taking some time to okay so it has opened up so what is the media player it is the x player version 2.4.2 In the universal access, you have got the onbo onboard uh, keyboard. So it is an on-screen keyboard. And you can close it like this. And it will remain in the panel for the rest of the session. In administration section, you have got the manage printer, Nix uh, OS manual. The terminal is there. This is the GNOME terminal. Users and groups are there. So you can configure the users and groups using this uh, app or settings we can say so it will take some time to open up in preferences you got the accessibility the accounts detail advanced network configuration applets backgrounds bluetooth color data date and time dexlets desktops display effects extensions font selection and general so let us uh, open up the displays also i will try to Increase the size of the screen. We'll fix the screen resolution. Yes. So we were there in the users and group. It did not open up. It should work now. Then uh, further in the preferences, you have got extensions, effects, font selection, general, graphics tablet, hot corners, keyboards mouse and touchpad networks notifications onboards uh, keyboard settings online accounts panel power management privacy uh, screen saver sound startup applications system info system settings themes are there window tiling is there uh, windows and the workspaces is there so now let us uh, try to change the desktop background let us see what wallpapers are available so i think there are no wallpapers uh, available extra wallpapers are not there so now let us go over to the settings uh, and then check it from there. Now let us open the backgrounds here. There are no wallpapers, only the default gray wallpaper is there for the Nix OS. Let us check out the themes, if themes are available. Okay, in the theme section, uh, yes, all the mint uh, themes are available. So that's good. All the mint themes are available. And in for the window borders, only Mint X and Mint Y are available. In controls, you have got a host of uh, different uh, themes for the controls. Mouse, mouse pointer, only three uh, three are there. Advaita, Vanilla DMZ and the Vanilla DMZ AA. And for the desktop, you have got all the default uh, Mint themes for the desktop. And you can add, remove, let it update. So these are the themes that you can add or remove. So you got a lot of configuration possibilities for the theming. And this is the theme settings. So this is the okay, what is happening is T Y U. Oh, there is some issue. Uh, I think this. Uh, I don't know why the users and groups is not working. See, every time it is asking for password and then it is not opening up. So there is some issue with this users and uh, groups. So it is not working. Maybe uh, we install on bare bones. It will it will work. But at least it is not working in virtual uh, machine. Now let us check out the system menu. So it is showing the cinnamon version as 5.2, Linux kernel version is 5.15, operating system is the Nix OS 22.05. So now it is showing the output in the uh, explorer. Let us check out the extensions. All the standard uh, Cinnamon extensions available in the Cinnamon desktop are available here also. We will close this.
now the online accounts so you can add account from google next cloud facebook microsoft flickr foursquare microsoft exchange last fm and the media server so you can configure your media server account from here and you can use your media server here so this is a standard cinnamon uh, options for the online accounts and this is the desktop layout settings so you can configure what icons will be shown on the desktop so i will close uh, i will toggle off the mounted drive setting the rest other things is okay and the preferred application so here you can see the file manager preferred uh, application is the nemo file manager firefox is the default web browser email client is geary documents nothing is there but we can uh, install the libreoffice suite and then make it uh, the default uh, application to open documents for plain text nothing is given but we can of course add uh, any text editor is there yes there is no text editor so you, either you can use the document viewer as the plain text for uh, for uh, observing the plain text or you can add the text editor that is the gedit and then make it the default uh, plain text document viewer so gedit is not there so we are we will require to install the gedit music player it is this uh, x music player that was we have seen so for video also it is the default for photos pix is default for source code there is no application but you can install the gedit and make it the source code uh, viewer for pdf the evis document viewer is there for terminal the gnome terminal is there and for calculator the calculator or the uh, calculator is there and for the removal media the default action is ask what to do i think we have covered everything uh, this is same repeat things I only wanted to show you what is uh, different in the cinnamon desktop of nixos uh, i already shown you what is uh, different here so the wallpapers are not there the themes are same as in any cinnamon desktop so all the defaults are available so there is nothing new here so i will now conclude the video see you in the next video bye bye